In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our infant Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for Mass. I did think about asking Anne and John to sing um, We Three Kings of Orient are for you, but I decided to spare you from that particular pleasure. They're both smiling now. Normally when I say Mass, they sat there with faces like robber's dogs looking all very solemn. The Magi follow the light of the star to find the newborn King of the Jews. We follow the light of the star when we truly hear God's word and come to his banquet. As we begin, we pause to prepare ourselves well. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring salvation to all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the King, deserving of our homage and the gift of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ever since God's manifestation of himself to Moses in a burning bush on Mount Horeb, the people of Israel had come to believe that this same God would manifest himself in light. The burning bush event happened around 1200 BC, but today's first reading from Isaiah comes eight centuries later, when the Israelites had a kingdom of their own. Despite this, however, they were even more aware of the foreign nations who oppressed them on all sides. Isaiah reassures them that the light of God will shine out over all the other nations, and peoples will travel far to see this light. This is mirrored in both the psalm and the gospel. In the second reading, St Paul, now nearing his end in prison, has had time to meditate upon the wonderful event that happened on the road to Damascus. He recalls seeing a great light and saw this as the light of his own personal conversion. Now, however, he has come to see that the light contained a mystery not revealed before to be shared by all members of Christ's body. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising on you, though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples. Above you the Lord now rises, and above you his glory appears. The nations come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Lift up your eyes and look around. All are assembling and coming towards you. Your sons from far away, and your daughters being tenderly carried. At the sight you will grow radiant, your heart throbbing and full. Since the riches of the sea will flow to you, the wealth of the nations come to you. Camels in throngs will cover you, and dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. Everyone in Sheba will come, bringing gold and incense, and singing the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The response, all nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. All, all nations nation shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. All, all nations nation shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. The kings of Tarshish and the Seco shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Ephesians. You have probably heard how I have been entrusted by God with the grace he meant for you, and that it was by a revelation that I was given the knowledge of the mystery. The mystery that has now been revealed through the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets was unknown to any men in past generations. It means that pagans now share the same inheritance, that they are parts of the same body, and that the same promise has been made to them in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We saw his star as it rose and have come to do the Lord homage. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had been born at Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod, some wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. Where is the infant king of the Jews, they asked. We saw his star as it rose and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was perturbed and so was the whole of Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people and inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. At Bethlehem in Judea, they told him, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you will come a leader who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men to see him privately. He asked them the exact date on which the star had appeared and sent them on to Bethlehem. Go and find out all about the child, he said, and when you have found him, let me know, so that I too may go and do him homage. Having listened to what the king had to say, they set out, and there in front of them was the star they had seen rising. It went forward and halted over the place where the child was. The sight of the star filled them with delight, and going into the house they saw the child with his mother Mary, and falling to their knees they did him homage. Then opening their treasures they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. But they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, and return to their own country by a different way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With my daily walk of about half an hour, and my at least twice weekly 40 mile round trip to the prison, I've got into listening to podcasts. At the moment I subscribe to three, the global story from the BBC World Service, my week in cars from Autocar magazine, and the trial hosted by a friend of mine about criminal trials taking place in the UK and Ireland. The first episode of The Global Story after Christmas asked the BBC's various correspondents to make their predictions for 2024. A good chunk of the world's populations are going to the polls in 2024, 
so this will likely be a time of change. Many of the correspondents also reflected that this is a time of increasing uncertainty, with war coming to Europe and the Middle East in the past year, developments that weren't foreseen. Today we keep the solemnity of the Epiphany, and though for many Christmas has been and gone, the liturgy is again insistent that we continue to focus our intention on the mystery of God becoming man. In fact, the importance of today's feast is particularly recognised in the Church in the East, where today is a bigger celebration than Christmas. Traditionally there, it's today that gifts are exchanged. That's because the arrival of the Magi signifies that salvation isn't just for the Jews, and that all people, including ourselves, are included in God's plan. The readings for today's feast are chosen with the awareness that they're being read at the beginning of a new year. The light and shade of any period of time are reflected in the selections from Isaiah, St Paul and St Matthew's Gospel. But what's consistent between them is that while there may be difficulties along the way, not something we need to be reminded of this year, Christ has won the victory and so our troubles need to be seen in this context. The word epiphany comes from the Greek and means manifestation or appearance. Today God asks each of us to follow the example of the Magi in our own time and place by becoming God's epiphanies, manifestations of his love. We're to make his love present in the world by our actions. At this time of the year we say to each other Happy New Year. As well as being a sincere greeting, this can also be a reflection of our faith that whatever the tribulations of the next 12 months, God will eventually prevail. As we walk into the unknown of 2024, we follow Christ the light, just as the Magi followed the star to an unknown destination, stepping conf confidently forward in the knowledge of God's eternal love. We profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us make our needs known to our loving God who reveals himself to us. May the Church always search diligently for the manifestations of Christ's unexpected presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May the peoples of Ukraine, Gaza and Israel know the peace the world seems unable to achieve. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May all the peoples of the world see the glory of God and be open to his offer of salvation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
May those who do not recognise the signs of God's presence in themselves and the world see and believe. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we who have gathered here faithfully manifest Christ's presence to those we meet. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In this moment of silence, we remember those needs kept in the quiet of our hearts. All-powerful God, you are great and your works are wonderful. Hear these our prayers that we may see your presence in the people and the world about us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favour, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, and Malcolm, our bishop, his assistant bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, eternal with you in your glory, appeared in a human body, truly sharing our faith, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, 
James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty, from the pure gifts, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and with once and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, also your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace be with you, John. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope and charity. Amen. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, 
May God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be to God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass this evening. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you soon.